Hi, I'm Theo. Here's a little explanation on how the movable eyes and eyelids of my hand puppets work. So, the latest iteration of this mechanism has a base plate inside the head, like this one here. And this base plate is the only thing that is attached to the head. So, the eyes and the eyelids are only on the base plate and the eye is held in by this ring underneath that is glued to the eye itself so if the eye moves so does the ring that means you need something underneath here so it doesn't interfere then the puppeteer's hand is inside. So what I normally do is I use a piece of foam and I'll add a piece of mesh in the back here that is bent in the direction where the puppeteer's hand is. So like this. And that also gives the puppeteer's hand something to push against. So the whole weight of the puppet head is distributed evenly on the puppeteer's hand. This part is very important uh, because if you do not do that, all the weight of the puppet will be just on the front of the fingers and that gets uncomfortable very fast. So um, the base plate here inside is basically just a newer iteration of my older design for individual eyes. So I changed this design into this or that. So the basic design itself has been changed and all the parts are compatible with each other. So you can, for example, use just a ping pong ball uh, with four centimeter diameter and it will still work just the same that it did with the old design. And you can also use all the eyelids that I made. They still have the same hole. They still are in the same distance. All the parts are interchangeable. One new feature that these base plates have are the holes on the side. These are meant to fit cable ties. And if you've seen the designs for my head bases, we do have a lot of holes and some of these holes are very convenient, like here for example or here. Uh, to tie that on. So um, my older puppets, I glued those in. That was really not that simple to do and um, I sometimes screwed up and had to remove them and redo the whole thing to get her in the right position. The this design it's a lot easier but it does have a downside uh, these plates here are all built for a specific eye distance and if i have a puppet that has the eyes wide set apart i need a different base plate like this one here for example so i really
literally don't have the time to make hundreds of these. Um, I'm only building them if I have a new puppet that would be ideal for this kind of design. So if you do not find the base plate that you need, I would uh, suggest using the old design. Um, what I do nowadays is I release the base plate with the puppet head. So if the puppet head that you're downloading doesn't have the base plate, it probably means it doesn't exist yet. And I'm not very keen to building a lot of these because it takes a lot of time to get them exactly in the size that the puppet needs. The one that I did release uh, has a good distance that will work for a lot of uh, puppet heads and if you build your own puppet you can just build the puppet around it so the size does not really affect you unless you want to build it totally different and in this case use these because you can not only glue them in on one plane you can also rotate them and make them more fitting for your character in that way. That's something you cannot do with this new design. Pushing and pulling on the lever is something you should always do in the direction 90 degrees to the center of rotation. So you want to push and pull like this, not like that. That's not going to work. And from the sides, you want to push and pull directly in the direction where the hole here is moving. So you have the minimum position, you have the maximum position, draw a line to that, to those two points, and you know where you want the cable to go. And the outer layer of the cable should be as close as possible to the minimum position so that you do not have a lot of cable here that is unsupported on each side because if you start the uh, end the outer cable for example like here all the cable here in between would be unsupported and could go any direction and not moving the eyelet and that's not something what you want. You want it as close as possible. Uh, also, do not start or end it here directly in a bend. Uh, if you have to bend the cable, do it one or two centimeters uh, in the back and always bend it in a big radius, no sharp edges. You want the cable to move as smooth as possible. That's it for now. Bye bye.